Welcome once again to the Trans QX7 series of videos. Look in the description for the link to it. Now, previously, I showed you guys how to connect a receiver to your multi rear connect to it, bind it, and get telemetry. So hopefully you've already done that and watched that because this video is not showing you how to wire in your receiver to get telemetry. I'm assuming you've already done that. We are only setting up telemetry in the Tyrannus to be able to see it and do other neat things with it. Not only that, but I do want to explain one thing. It's a common question that I get. So, uh, but first, if we hold down the page button, this is where our future telemetry pages are going to be, where you can find them. So just keep that in mind, but we'll come back to that. Now, if we go to our model selection and then hold down the page button a couple times to go to the telemetry page, this is the question that I get a lot. So I've already got my USB cable plugged into my flight controller. I do not have a LiPo battery connected. But my receiver is getting power from the flight controller through the USB. If I click discover new sensors and then stop discovery, here is my telemetry sensors. But I don't see voltage in here. That's because you actually have to plug in your LiPo. At least for some multi rotors and well, flight controllers I should say. So now if I go back, discover new sensors again, we now get VFAST, which is voltage. It's showing 15 on the dot. I have already gone ahead in Betaflight and calibrated my voltage. Uh, look in my Betaflight series of videos where you'll find that one. So if I plug in this battery checker, it should be 15 on the dot, which it is. So now we are all on the same page, good go, and all that good stuff. Sensor lost. And now it's telling me my voltage has been lost, but I'm still getting the rest of the telemetry sensors because I disconnected that battery. So first things first, let's set up the RSSI. This is automatic, it's not really part of the telemetry between the flight controller and transmitter, it's between the receiver and transmitter. That's why it, it already knows what your RSSI is. So for my low alarm, uh, I mean you can set this to anywhere you want. I usually set mine to 45 and then I do my critical at about 38. Now you want to set these up to exactly how you want them. For example, um, I don't know why temperature is there. It's not accurate. It's not connected to anything. It's not a real temperature. But I'm just going to use this for an example. Hold the button down and then click edit. You can change the name if you want. And you can also change the unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit if you would prefer that. You can also change the precision. Let's take a look at a different one. Uh, the most important one is going to be voltage. So if I edit that, what I want to do is change the precision because realistically, I mean the tenths are accurate but not the hundredths. So I'm going to change the decimal place from two decimal places to one decimal place. Once again, this is just personal preference. You can do, you can do it whichever way you want. You can actually go into the CLI of your flight controller and do some other workarounds and change some settings, but uh, I'm not going to cover that because, like I said, I mean, it only has to be accurate to the tenth. It doesn't have to be accurate to the hundredth. Once you have all these set up exactly how you want them, let's move on. Then let's page over to display. This is the most important part. We have four telemetry screens that we can potentially have. You don't have to use all four, you can only use one or two, you name it. So let's click enter. You can do either a numerical layout or you can do a bar graph. For this first one, I'm going to do a bar graph and I'll show you the numerical layout on screen two. So if we go here, we want to choose what telemetry sensors we would like to see. You can also see switches as you see here. Uh, you can see anything you, you want really, your timers and much more. So I'm just going to do voltage, I'm going to leave this one at zero, then move over to the max. I use four cell batteries which have a max voltage of 16.8, so I'm actually going to put this at 17, then move to the next one. Okay, so something I forgot to do, let's go back to the telemetry page. Let's say I do want to use my barometer on my flight controller, well we see that's turned off right here. So go to configuration, and then right here we will see barometer, so I'm going to turn that on, save and reboot. Now my barometer is on. 
You may have to discover new sensors, you might not, but now I see altitude from my barometer. Uh, once again, I'm going to change the precision because I don't care to see the tenth of a meter. I just want to see whole numbers, so I'm going to change that to a whole number. Now let's go back to the display. Now here's something else I need to show you. RSSI, uh, and this works for anything. You may have noticed that there's RSSI and then an RSSI minus and an RSSI plus. The plus means it's going to record the greatest amount of RSSI seen throughout the entire flight. The minus is going to be the lowest RSSI it's ever seen through the entire flight. And you can do this with any sensor. You can do that with voltage, uh, your altitude, anything. But I'm actually not going to do that with uh, RSSI. I'm going to do that with uh, the altitude. For RSSI, I'm going to leave this set to zero and then move this one up to, you can't actually go past 100. I usually set mine at about 110. One more thing, uh, I forgot that I want this in feet. So let's change that to feet. Go back. Now where I live, I don't know about all you other countries, but I uh, the legal limit is 400 feet. I'm just going to set this to 1000 even just to keep things simple. I mean, I'm never going to fly that high, but you never know, I guess. This time I'm going to do altitude plus and set this to 1000 as well. Now you can actually get a custom voice. Well, the, you can pick any voice you want, but later on I'm going to show you how to make custom voices as well. And you can set voices to these alarms to make it say wherever you want it to say once you reach a certain altitude or a low voltage warning or your RSSI warning, anything. Now if we go to screen 2, I will do a numerical layout. I'm just going to pick some random sensors because I only use one telemetry page realistically and that's just for my voltage in uh, RSSI. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, I mean, I could add two more sensors, but I really don't care. Uh, and then we have two more pages that you could use if you want. So now let's back all the way out. Hold down the page button. This is going to be the numerical layout. I can see my battery voltage. And it's also going to show me the lowest voltage seen through the entire flight. That's going to show my real-time RSSI, also the lowest RSSI seen throughout the flight, the battery voltage of my uh, Tyrannus, and then I could have a timer. Uh, you could really, I've just picked random sensors, you can have anything. Then if we go over and press page once, this is the bar layout, so I see my, uh, my VFAST voltage, RSSI, the uh, altitude that's at nat now and then the max altitude saw through the entire flight and I uh, also have RSSI at the bottom. Now that we have this set up in a future video I will show you how to actually use the special functions paired with the logical switches pages to uh, customize your voices and sounds and other things exactly how you want it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.